Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the AdventureWorks Simple Database uh, to your SQL Server 2019 database system. So first you want to go to uh, this GitHub repository uh, page. So I'll post the link in the description below. And once you get to this page, you want to scroll down. So towards the bottom, it should be under additional OLTP backup and samples. So for SQL Server 2019, uh, you can actually use uh, the AdventureWorks 2017.bak file. Since the 2017 uh, BAK file is, is compatible with 2019 SQL Server database system. And you want to look for AdventureWorks 2017.bak file. If you are using the data warehouse uh, SQL Server uh, database version, then you want to download the AdventureWorks DW2017.bak file. But 98% of the time, you will download the AdventureWorks 2017.bak file. And click on this file and download the, the, the BAK file to your local drive. So once you finish, uh, download the file. And so, uh, you want to go to your SQL Server backup folder. So to get to this folder, what you want to do is you want to go under the C drive. And most likely, uh, your SQL Server folder is going to be under program files. And under program files, look for Microsoft SQL Server folder. If you have multiple instances uh, installed, so you should see uh, multiple folders. And choose the instance folder where you want to attach the AdventureWorks sample database. And since I only have one instance, which is Microsoft's uh, 2015, I'm going to click into that and go down one more level again. And within the Microsoft uh, SQL Server Microsoft SQL uh, folder, you should see a backup folder. So go to the folder where you download the adventureworks.bak file. And what you want to do is you want to uh, copy the file or you can do cut and paste. And you want to uh, make sure that the file is uh, safe within the backup folder. So I'm going to just make a copy. And once you've done that, and you want to launch your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So connect to your instance. And under my instance, which is laptop uh, hyphen J, and click on databases. And here you want to right click your mouse and click on restore database. So here, let me expand my window a little bit. Right now on the top, you should see uh, no backup sets select uh, to be restored. So under the source uh, session, and choose device. Now this dot 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 icon should be available. So click on uh, this button right here and click on add. So by default, uh, the backup folder should be, uh, should be displayed already. But if not, you want to uh, navigate to the backup folder, which is on the Microsoft SQL Server and MS SQL and backup. So make sure that the backup folder is select and select the AdventureWorks 2017.bak file and click on OK. And click on OK again. And here SQL Server automatically recognize the backup file. And under the restore plan uh, section, so it's going to automatically select the database that you're trying to uh, restore the backup. If the backup file is not checked, so just make sure that the restore uh, checkbox is checked. And click on OK. And you should see the database AdventureWorks 2017 restore successfully. And click on OK. If you open your Opjar Explorer, and you should see the AdventureWorks 2017 database is now available. And open an uh, uh, empty query. It should mean expand the database. If you expand the AdventureWorks 2017 database and expand the tables, you should now see all the uh, tables are available to you. So if I just uh, do a simple uh, query. So here I want to uh, specify the database I want to use. 
And if I just do a simple select statement from let's do human, let's do person dot address table. And that should give me all the records from the from the person dot address table. So this is everything I have to show you in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.